call that saving. No, I call that losing money. What you doing, son? Nothing. Just chilling. What a chill, gang. Magic chilling dig. That's a fact, yo. Yo, y'all showed my first Samsung reaction a lot of love, so I had to come back with another one, you know? No, I just be chilling, man, reacting to some of everything. I'm not in no box. So whenever y'all want to chill, you know, come stop by the channel and see what I'm up to. <sighs> I love high gas prices. I love paying more for groceries, and I really love seeing taxes rise. It's so good knowing that I'm giving more, but receiving less. It makes me feel humble, but I'm going to stop with the sarcasm right there, because I swear we're living in a real jungle. It's what? Pretty simple to me though, it's way past being left or right. Just use your head and common sense and think about how you've been affected in daily life. Is it easier or is it harder? That's the most important question you should think of first. Cause life is a bitch already as it is and you don't need someone that's gonna make it worse. Ask me? Huh, I think we're fucked. Don't give me that look, <laughs> everything sucks. Have you gone outside? Have you been to the store? Have you compared the prices to a year before? Do you drive a car? Have you pumped gas? Don't lie to me now, it sucks ass. You could brush it off like it's a fucking joke, but the media lies, numbers don't. <laughs> Oh, you can't blame Biden, it isn't him. Well, who the fuck is it then? What jacked up the prices? I want to know why I spend so much up at Conoco. I don't know. I think it's insane that the leader of the country gets no blame because the whole entire time, the last four years, it was cheap as fuck. I'm just saying, now watch. Down in the comments, he's going in. He's going to give us an economy lesson. I can't wait to hear your expert analysis on fluctuation and how expenses balance. Hey, it's all a part of the process. What the hell are you bitching for? It's fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the fuck? Hold up, bro. Samsung, yo, hey, he can be a stand up comedian, yo. He is hilarious, but he's speaking facts. He is not playing. He's snapping, but he's snapping with facts. Had to bring that back a bit. Blame because the whole entire time, the last four years, it was cheap as fuck. I'm just saying, now watch. Down in the comment section, someone's going to give us an economy lesson. I can't wait to hear your expert analysis on fluctuation and how expenses balance. Hey, it's all a part of the process. What the hell are you bitching for? It's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July. <laughs> what a fucking steal. Too bad I spent more on gas just to get the target. So by the time I got done buying all the shit and filling up my car, I had way less than when I started. Right. Now, I don't really call that saving. No, I call that losing money. It doesn't take a genius to do simple math, but apparently you can't. So who's the dummy? Probably still be. I'm just pissed off. This inflation's fucked up. But I gotta sit here and act like I love this administration with a thumbs up? Stupid. Everything is hell, but you act like I'm supposed to be in heaven. You know our country ain't doing too good when the Waffle Houses start to close at 11. Dude, <laughs> he can barely talk. He's and funny, act man. Like I'm being overzealous. Every time the man speaks, I have no fucking clue what he's trying to tell us. Nope. Every speech is like what a death reel. About? Every time I see the shit, I'm like, is that real? Well, considering the fact that the only other option was Trump, I don't think it's such a bad deal. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh. I want a strong leader. The strength of a man should be constantly tested, especially when you're in the most powerful position in the world. That should be not even a question. Uh -huh. There's really not enough words that can describe the craziness we're facing dude but the crazier part is there's still people you need to sit down and really explain this to come on man just watch a press conference you'll see that joe was all gone he literally joe says Biden, out okay. that he has a list of people he's supposed to call on and even then he fucks that up the whole thing is hella awkward covid19 ain't his biggest enemy what is it? it's the goddamn teleprompter <laughs> so like yeah he can be a stand-up comedian it's like we're all just following blindly each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a debate and they're almost 90 look at him don't take it from me go listen to him it's not a rumor you gotta i mean the T -t 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 Today, Junior, <laughs> Jesus Christ, go on YouTube and click any video of Joe Biden and check out the like and the dislike ratios. That should prove to you that no one likes That's a fact. Him. I saw that. I agree with anything he's done. His decisions affect me in many ways. If it was up to me, I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. I don't like Biden. What good's he done for us? I think Afghanistan. Okay, he done slowed it down. What a dumb adult. My stomach does somersaults when I think about those 13 soldiers that were killed the fucking gall. Then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere better to be. I swear the disrespect doesn't stop. Pick your fucking head up. Look at the women and men you killed. I don't understand how anyone could even defend you still. And if they do, they either don't know what they're talking about. Yo, he got a flow that'll just speed up out of nowhere. Look at the women and men you killed. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's dope. But yeah, man. Hey, yo, Biden probably like the only president that made me just mad one day. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what. When he tried to ban guns and stuff like that, that just woke me up. Like, <laughs> I be paying attention to everything. Now I stay mad. Like, Joe But I mean, I was about to say Joe Budden. Joe Biden. Uh, man, I'm talking about when he fell out the bike. I was sharing a video. Joe Biden just made me mad. It's like, my friend was like, yo, man, come on now. We got to leave Joe, leave Joe Biden alone. I'm my oldest mother. Nah, man. 
Joe Biden out here calling guns AR-14s and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's an AR-15. He's talking about some AR-14. He already falling off bikes. When the bike, it's time to put your leg down and stop. He still failed. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, Joe Biden, that made me mad. But, you know, I don't hate Joe Biden. I don't hate nobody. You feel me? But I'm feeling what Samsung saying. You feel me? Samson is killing it right now. Joe Biden, you getting destroyed. This is a, why well, I don't say Joe Biden this in the title. You feel me? Like, he is going in on him. Uh, let me back it back a little bit. Then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere better to be. I swear the disrespect doesn't stop. Pick your fucking head up. Look at the women and men you killed. I don't understand how anyone could even defend you still. And if they do, they either don't know what they're talking about or they're lying to themselves because they know damn well you're a problem now. Pulling out was a good choice. Not the way you did it, though. Kamala's probably sitting there like, oh, my God, we did it, Joe. <laughs> Speaking of her, where's she been through all these deadly days? As soon as shit erupts and hits the fan, Kamala's MIA. Not like she does anything thing anyway so fucking useless law and order crisis at the border she don't fucking do shit just a talking head paired up with the walking dead hold up somebody in the comment section said if samsung do get a video like with a lot of better production and stuff like that it probably will be getting banned i can just see him walking around with a gun just It'll be kind of extreme I, I can see why you know what i'm saying his videos would be kind of extreme but wouldn't y'all uh what y'all think about him getting some video done and animated? You know, some an some animated videos. I think it'd be I think it'd be cool, man. I think it'd be cool. Breaking absolutely every word that was promised or said. Every time I see their faces on TV, it's such a bummer. I feel like I'm watching the third installment of Dumb and Dumber. And on top of all that, they put another ban on ammo, trying to disarm Americans, but equip the Taliban like Rambo. You give them hundreds of thousands of military guns, but Americans just trying to protect their families are the scary ones. You put more trust in a terrorist organization than you do in your own people. You don't care about this nation. Fuck. Facts. That's from me. Fuck you. That's from them. Fuck you. From everyone that's still stuck in Afghanistan. Nah, nah. Fuck this. Both you motherfuckers are crazy. I'm going to my car. Get my other gun. Shoot everybody's ass. Fuck you from the men and women who died for this country. And fuck you for every time you lie to cover up something. You blame this on Trump. How the fuck is this even his fault? You're in charge now, not him. That's just your default. Whenever something goes wrong, you flip and say he did it. But whenever something goes right, you're quick to take the credit. You undid facts. Yo, hey, yo, I'm about to say yo, button. You know what I'm saying? Again, I'm keep. Hey man, I'm about to like his name keep getting messed me up now. Okay, Joe Biden, bro. Like people thought Trump was terrible. People thought Trump was racist and bad. And I'm saying people like, yo, bring back Trump. I don't care if he is racist. Bring him back. We need Trump back. Like Joe Biden, no way. It's it's over with. Like get him out of here. Bring back, uh, bring back Trump. Like people just, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't see people that hated Trump. They talking about some. Yo, Joe Biden really out here worse than Trump. Like I can't believe it. They want Trump back. You feel me? Like. That's crazy, Joe Biden. You gotta be doing terrible, bro. Like, you gotta be doing terrible. The, the, some of the people that I uh, talked to, bro, they was like, yo, like, Trump terrible, bro. Like, we don't need him, bro. Like, it can't wait till he gets off. And now they saying they want him back, bro. That's mean you doing terrible. F -f fuck you for every time you lie to cover up something. You blame this on Trump. How the fuck is this even his fault? You're in charge now, not him. That's just your default. Whenever something goes wrong, you flip and say he did it. But whenever something goes right, you're quick to take the credit. You undid almost all of Trump's agreements by your second day. So why is this one of the only fucking things you left in place? No crosses to bear. No responsibilities. Just chocolate, chocolate chip to ease your mental instability. I would say the blood's on your hands, but that's a lie because you don't even know where the fuck you are half the time. Yeah, take that breath, bro. Take that breath at the bro. Take that breath at the end, bro. You feel me? Destroyed it. He killed it. Okay, I see what y'all saying about his videos. It's unique. It's like a come walk with me, let me talk to you right quick type of vibe. Even though I still believe a better produced video with a theme to match the topics in his songs would take him to another level because, yo, some music videos make the song way better. He's one of those rappers that say exactly how he feel and people just can relate to him. You know, I don't even know this dude, but I can tell he's just being Samson. Like, he one of the people that can, he'll call you, be on the phone with him, and he'll talk to you for like two hours straight about how stupid everything is in the world. Well, I do y'all. This video, don't get to show my likes, comments, and love, subscribe if you haven't shared the video, can, and let me know what to react to next. Peace. Everybody have a good day. Chill, guys.